So hello there Andrew Squad and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. So in today's video what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding blocking to our character. So now our character can equip and we have really combo attacks here. So as you see I have done a small change here. So uh, our character can uh, our character moves a bit forward when he's attacking. So I didn't show you this part in the last video, but I'm gonna show you that in today's video as well. So here, as you see, currently when we press the block, uh, space bar, we are jumping. But if we have an enemy close to us, if we press space, uh, we will block. So I'm gonna uh, implement that part today. So let's get started. But first, I'll show you that attack move in part. So here. Uh, I have done only a small thing here so as you see this is the attack part attack move part so here in the movement graph I will uh, comment this um, move forward no, I will make it attack move ok like this so as you see here here I have created a new function inside my character actions uh, interface so here in the moment I have created move forward so here I have created a new input called magnitude and I have uh, set it I have chosen the uh, float variable type so go ahead and create a new function by using this and rename it to move forward so I am not can create a new one so here move forward and make a new input and call it magnitude so here in the base character call so I'll do it again for you guys so I'm gonna call that uh, function move forward so here in our VPA <coughs> character actions so as you see as uh, because I have already done this so I can't do it again so I'll delete it and I'll do it again so here in the, so the target is BPI character actions which is this interface and I uh, in pulse um, at impulse so the target should be the character movement and this impulse I'll multiply this with uh, wait, I'll do it just like this. I'll multiply. Uh, okay, I'll just do it like this. I'll multiply the uh, vector with this. So here the vector should be this. Here I'll get uh, my capsule component, and I'll get. Uh, forward vector get forward vector I'll hook it up to this and I'll enable this velocity change and compile so that's uh, all I have done in the uh, base character blueprint so in animation blueprints like and BB so this is what I have done here it's simple so first what I need is a skeleton notify so I'll open one of my uh, <coughs> anime, combat animations so here I have select light attack one so as you see yeah not this I need a montage so I have added them in my montages so here I'll open my light attack one montage and as you see I have created a new skeleton notify here so just um, hover onto this uh, notify section and click add notify and add a skeleton notify uh, but uh, you should not uh, add this uh, select this skeleton notify one you should add a new notify and it will automatically become a scaled and notify and notify and you can use it on other animations as well so I have already created one but so I'm not going to create another one 
so you can after that you can move this here and there and adjust the position so uh, every time this animation runs when it reaches this one here he will move forward so to implement that I will go to my anim uh, animation blueprint and I will call it notify uh, it was attack no So as you see when any modify move forward so as you see after that uh, i'm gonna take a reference to my character so in that way i can access that function move forward so i uh, call that move forward and like that and i set the magnet to 800 uh, you can make this uh, magnitude uh, bigger one but then our character will move too much uh, to the front so I don't want that uh, so I will keep it like 800 so here uh, then that you have to plug this one to that and I will click compile so as it, now you can go ahead and try playing and you should add that notify to all of your animations uh, so you can if you didn't add them to your animations the, that part will be not uh, that part won't be executed so I have added them to added that uh, notify to all of my animations so all of my animations have that so I can move forward like this so yeah so, uh, I decided not to add that camera shake because uh, since we have this, uh, we, when we add this uh, move forward one, we ha get a small uh, shake here as well. So I'm not gonna add the camera shake part. But if you like, you can add a one just like this. Uh, you can create a new uh, camera shake one here. So here, you will, I I'll expand this and I camera shake. So camera shake I use this metal uh, camera shake and you can open it up just like this wait I don't need the full blueprint editor I just need this view so here you have set this to point 2 and this to point 1 and you have to uh, adjust this roll so here I will set this to something just like 50 and 1 and I will set this to 0 okay. yeah, like this compile and you can call that uh, shake after this so here create well <coughs> camera shake flavor camera shake and select this uh, new blueprint so that's the name of the blueprint that I just created so epicenter should be I'll set this so cheat and I'll get the location no uh, not not that get world location and plug it here and now we're done so like that we can set up the camera shake as well so now as you see we have a small shake here but it's not that big uh, you can get a better is better result if you add a uh, one that moves better uh, so i'll use the sword hand and as you see it got increased a bit so because our hands in uh, moving uh, often uh, it moves often so we have a small shake here you can increase this uh, ampli uh, you you can increase the shake by just changing this uh, amplitude but I'm not gonna do it so I actually I don't need this shake so I delete it if you want that you can just keep it so let's get started with our blocking part uh, actually we don't have anything that long to do in this so 
that's why I uh, did that camera part, camera shake part as well. So I close this. So like this and like this. So here, first thing I need to implement blocking is animations. So uh, inside my combat folder. So in my RPG essence folder. I have created this blocking idle so I'm gonna have two animations for blocking blocking idle and blocking reaction so when our enemy hit us we should play a uh, some kind of a reaction uh, like thing so we will move back or something just like that so here this is our blocking animation so here I can't just directly use this, uh, I'll use uh, any montage, so I'll create an animal montage and I'll move it here. And here, while blocking, I, uh, I should disable my movement while blocking. So, I think I don't have to implement this blocking inside this any montage, I'll just implement that inside my combat one so here actually I have already set up uh, one here so in this jump I'll implement blocking inside jump one so here so if it is equipped here it's play doing this part so instead of doing this part uh, Directly playing this jump montage, I'll do a sequence here. So like this, and I do this here, like this, like this, like this. So it's a bit tidy, like this. And as the then too, I'll do another branch. So I'll make another variable called in battle. So if there's a enemy near uh, us, so we will be in a battle. So we can't jump while uh, fighting. So I'm gonna implement this uh, in battle one uh, variable more when we get to work on uh, uh, NPCs and other stuff. So for now I'll just use this. And if it is true, I'm gonna play an in touch. And here, <coughs> sorry, and blocking idle. So, like this, I'm gonna play it. And here, uh, if I release, when I release this, uh, I do another branch, check whether if I'm equipped. If I am equipped, I'm going to stop animation, any montage. I say this blocking montage. So I move uh, this part here, like this, and like this. And I will come in this out. I call it blocking. Just like this. So let's test this out. So, so this won't gonna work in the moment because now we are equipped. We are equipped, but we are not in a battle. So I'm gonna do something just like this. For now, for testing purposes, uh, I'll just create a actor class. I call it test and I open this up and here I add a box collision I call it uh, box okay that's okay so right here I size this up like this like this and strength placing this in our uh, it's a bit large so I uh, Make it, uh, make it small 
and a bit too like that yeah now that's better so here in my event graph I'm gonna co add an event for box collision and here in making new wallet and here I'm gonna add another one event end of wallet so I'm gonna cast and place character and I set this object as this and like this so here a character like this and I set in battle to true like this and here I'm gonna set this to false like this so let's see so now I make it I jump so no blocking and I will move into this yeah so as you see this part uh, now while jumping I'm playing this animation uh, this jumping animation so I don't want that to happen so if it is true uh, when I jump so I'm gonna do the same part that I did here I duplicate this and I plug this here so here like this I duplicate it again and here like this Okay. Yeah, uh, no, this should be false. Right. Mm, yeah. Okay, let's see. We can add that. So we can jump. So I move into this. Yeah. Now we are not playing that uh, jumping part. So when I move out of that collision box. So if I press space now, uh, so there's a problem here. Uh, that problem is, but when we are blocking, we can still move. I'm gonna fix that issue now. So here, what I'm gonna do is, if it is true, I'm gonna get a reference to character movement, and I'm gonna disable movement. So using this node, I can disable my character's movement. And here, when this is, uh, when my, when I release this, I'll set movement mode. So using this, I can re-enable my walking. So I set this to walking like this. So yeah. Okay, let's see whether this works or not. So I I equip. Okay. And when I move into this collision, okay, now we can no longer move. So, so you see, can no longer move. So, yeah. So if I move out of this, yeah, I can still jump. And if I unequip and move into this collision, I can still jump. If I equip, I can still jump. Why is that? Okay, wait. This will get back. Okay. Yeah. So if I unequip, I can't jump anymore. Okay. There is a problem here. What? Okay. Mm, why is this okay. okay no I'll just keep it just like that it's not a problem for now if we when we have finished our project if when building the game and testing the uh, project if we get an error I'll fix that issue there so I think that's uh, enough for the blocking part so 
I guess now we are done setting up the basic combat moves and stuff. So next I'll start working on NPCs and enemies. So the, uh, first I'll make NPCs. So before starting with en enemies, we need NPCs. So next few videos I'll create uh, some levels and the, uh, first of all I'll create a forest or something so we can test out our animal AIs and we'll, I'll create another village next to that uh, uh, forest and I, I'll test my other player characters and I'll test my enemies in that village so I think that would be enough for this video and I forgot to tell you uh, at the end of every 10 videos of this series I will upload the complete project to my patreon so all of my uh, supporters uh, and all of my patrons will be able to download this project uh, you can down if even though you are in the supporter tier you can download this project for free uh, just three dollars so that's the minimum value i can put because patreon is not allowing me to put uh, one dollar for the uh, supporter tier if i can i will put, uh, make it one dollar but patrons not allowing me to do that so because of that uh, i have to put the minimum value available so even though you are paying only three dollars per month you can download this complete project so i think that's enough for this video and See you in the next video where I will start working on NPCs.